This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Neil, Chapter 10, The Memories of the Death Lilies. Alright, so let's get this started. So we're going to start off by going to the left, jump down here. We'll receive some fall damage, but that's nothing to worry about. Let's go down here. There's a remnant that's going to throw a fireball at us. Just take that opportunity just to uh, wave dash down here. And we're just going to jump down the bridge, or broken bridge. We're going to run into uh, two mini Omibuzos. Just hug the right side of the wall. And then just keep going down here. There's a mini one eye yokai right here. Let's avoid him. Open the gate. You'll find another one on your right. Be careful. Alright, and then we're just going to Go to the shrine to our left. Alright, and we're just gonna go up these stairs. And uh, have our uh, cannon uh, be ready to shoot down this yokai. Uh, I had to quickly switch to dual sword, and now I can shoot this yokai, knock him out. And then finish him off with a fatal blow. Or finishing blow, or whatever you want to call it. Loot this corpse. And then we're just gonna go up this hill. Alright, and we're gonna use the cannon to take out this remnant. Loot this. And then we're gonna get prepared for this one. So the usual, Kekai, Carnage, then uh, wrap our dual sword with lightning. And we're gonna lure him out. Let's use a uh, sloth. Try to cast uh, weakness, but that didn't work. Did it again. Then I use my cannons to give him some damage. And just take him out the rest of the time. I just using light attack. And I believe I got hit by that revenant, but I'm just gonna ignore him. He's not gonna come towards me. We're gonna fight this revenant though. Uh, I accidentally fell from there, so that was like, wow. So I'm just gonna wave dash my way back because there is a corpse that you need to loot, which has the gate key, which leads to the uh, leads to the boss. And the boss's name is Ogris. Alright, we're actually going to go back to the shrine so that we can replenish our uh, Omeo along with our health and uh, whatsoever. Alright, so we're going to go back up. Right where that uh, second uh, little one eye yokai was. Uh, again, we'll ignore him. Just use the gate key to open this gate. And then we're going to be finding these two revenants. Uh, we're going to find them one at a time. There is a third revenant. It's a giant one with the axe. We'll deal with him later. So we're going to deal with these two. So after we loot this, I'm just gonna lure out that third revenant. So, uh, as you're about to see, I wasn't using any Carnage or Kekai. Uh, the reason is because I'm saving it all for the bot for Ogres, uh, and I don't want to just go back and then uh, replenish it and then fight the revenant again. We just need to. Be, uh, to me, it's a little annoying. Uh, unfortunately, I took some damage right there. Luckily, I didn't die. Yeah, we'll just be playing a hit, hit, dash away throughout this fight. Now 
that he's taken care of. We're going to switch to our dual sword, high stance, and use the Kekai, Carnage, wrap our dual sword with Earth, because Orgus is weak against Earth. And then as soon as we skip the cutscene, we're going to immediately cast Sloth and Weakness. Most of the time, you just dodge her attack and then punish her with a water slash. And another, most of the time, she'll just do jump attacks and just punish her by running around to the back and then use water slash. And then she'll step back and again she'll do another attack. And then when you have the opportunity, you can use Sloth and then Weakness again. She's going Berserk now, so I'll just stay far away from her as possible. And then use your Talisman just in case. Uh, that was a really close one, I almost got killed there. And then just... There you go. If you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Ogres. Alright. And then, again, for the usual, go to Inventory. Look at the weapons and armor that you feel like we need to equip due to its uh, higher uh, multiplier of attack and defense. If not, you can save them to sell either at the blacksmith or the shrine. And if you have any prestige points, uh, use them as much as you have. I'm just going to be skipping a couple of these cutscenes and we'll be getting our getting the bunny spirit and this uh, spirit is actually pretty useful because its ability also uh, helps uh, increase your light attack on low stance so that's really good to use for the spirit to again to the blacksmith uh, you can sell the uh, armors and uh, weapons to gain some uh, gold currency so you can uh, soul merge uh, a certain weapon or so um, so that means you wouldn't have to sell all your weapons but you can also uh, if not replenish your ammo buy some armor and uh, weapons that you would need to either disassemble for forge or you know uh, also soul merge all right so we're just gonna uh, go to the shrine go to offering sell any remaining of the weapons and armor and then we're gonna go to the skills uh, I believe uh, yeah we're just gonna go to the skill setting go to dual swords and we're only gonna unlock I believe three things uh, I believe it is let me check it is key pulse man uh, demon thrust and then Living Water Man. So I will show a demonstration of Demon Thrust. Basically, uh, while blocking an attack, you can press, uh, as is shown, uh, to block. Pretty much like an advanced guard in Marvel vs. Capcom. You can like push an attack that you blocked, basically. Uh, check your inventory if you add any soul stones and magic locks to use. Then we're going to level up our spirit by 3. And then we're going to go to ready jutsu. We're going to replace earth with wind.
and then this is not a mission this is just like uh, an extra cutscene uh, this cutscene I, I like as well there's a certain cutscene I kind of like so um, I'll keep myself quiet for this cutscene for you guys to enjoy uh, it won't be the full cutscene it's just just a cutscene that I kind of like uh, if you want to hear it as well hope you enjoy There's no way a normal man could take this. It seems he's the real thing. So yeah, that was one of the interesting cutscenes. So, on the next video, uh, the mission that we're going to is called the Defile Castle. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas in the memory of the death lilies so once again this is on new game plus and uh, let's get started so the first kodama just jump down here go to the left just pretty much uh go down here there's uh the yokai and uh, other remnants right around this area so be careful as you go down so there was a kodama right there at that waterfall but accidentally <laughs> Fell from there, so just making my way up there, and behind the waterfall is where you find the first Kodama. Alright, for the next one, just go to the right. As soon as you see the uh, spa, just jump down, go to the right, and then go to the left right here, jump down, and you'll find the second Kodama. Alright, so we're gonna Go down to the broken bridge. Make our way right here. Alright, and then we're gonna go from here. I was supposed to take a left there, but I believe I got lost for some weird reason. But whatever. Yeah, just take a left. Then go to the right, go all the way down, or up, actually, and you'll find the next Kodama. Uh, the next one, very simple, so after I leave this corpse, this one, this Kodama is very simple to find. So I see this house, go to the right, and it's right there. Alright, the next one, basically, is open this gate, go to the right. go down here is where you see the shrine uh, and then there's this uh, building right here you would have to fight the uh, crow yokai in order to go further from this building go behind it and then you'll find the next kodama all right and then for the next one uh, so as soon as you get off the building you go to the right fortunately I went the wrong way so I went to the left so again, go to the right, go up this hill. At the tower, just jump down, and then on your left is the Kodama. All right, and then the final Kodama, just go up here. And then we use the gate key to open this gate. So on to the right, you'll find the final Kodama. And congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. All right, so we're gonna go to the nearest shrine. Obviously there are only like two shrines, I believe. And uh, yeah, go to your blessings and then you can check how many Kodamas are there in each blessings. And uh, yeah, hope this video has helped you out.